Doug, the reigning master of social media disaster, the king of the beer school headstand, the returning federal member for Bullen since 2004, Andrew Lamming! Come on out! Let's see if Andrew can meet his moniker and Lambo, his opponents. Let's go, son. Take up your seat. Big round of applause for Andrew, please. She's not only got the most peak green names in all of history, she's a very formidable young lady. She wants to bring a young female progressive voice to the aging male and right wing lower house. Take your seat right next to me, young lady. Emerald Moon. Shane Clark, come on down. Shane represents the United Australia Party. Ex 13th Brigade, 10th Light Horse Regiment. He's a man, he's been in some tight spots. Knows how to organize people. Knows how to get things done. Come with me right there, my man. All right, big round of applause. Okay. These are our federal candidates. We're now going to get started with the Senate ticket. Starting with Gabe Buckley. Good surname. Hell yeah. All right, Gabe Buckley, renowned freedom fighter, defender of liberty, representing the Liberal Democrats. Big round of applause. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, right to the end. Yeah. All right. Hailing from the Animal Justice Party. Fervent supporter for animal rights, representing the Animal Justice Party. Kaz Kelly, come on down. Thank you, thank you. All right. We do have a full panel tonight. You want to shut the bar? Yeah, shut the bar. <laughs> it's, it's got to ring the bell. <laughs> Get that lady a microphone. All right. Darren Caulfield, come on down. Australian Better Families Party. Nationally accredited mediator. Founder of Lily Pilly. Here, mate. Oh, no, that's Brandon. That's Brandon. Here, mate. Not-for-profit association providing supervised children's contact and other support services for families experiencing difficult times. Round of applause for Darren Caulfield, please. <laughs> Representing the Pirate Party tonight, we have Brandon Selick, a community lawyer who spent the last decade volunteering as a solicitor for community legal centres in southeast Queensland. Come on down. Have a seat there. All righty. Last but not least, we have arguably one of the most controversial members of the Australian political scene, Lyle Shelton of the Australian Christian Lobby. We thank him for joining us tonight. He's representing Cory Bernardi's Australian Conservatives. Please give him a warm hand. Come on down, Lyle Shelton. Well done. Well done. Thank you. I'll take my seat. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, candidates. All right, so we get, we're going to get real into the hard-hitting stuff. Is this thing on, Lee? Test again? OK, thank you. All righty, now we're going to sort out the men from the boys, the girls from the women. Emerald Moon, Marvel or DC. I, I could lie and, and pick one and say probably Marvel, but I can't pretend that I've watched or read either. That is, that is I know I'm, I'm sorry, a bad person. I've lost everyone's sorry, vote already. I'm sorry. Okay. Who okay. cares about the policy? That's all right. We'll move on. We'll move on quickly. Andrew, what is your spirit animal and why? My dog, Pearl, the Border Collie. And why? 
because she insists that I say that. <laughs> Gab. Vegemite or jam? Jam by a wide margin. <laughs> Brandon Selleck, what do you do when you're not politicking? Well, I'm either working as a lawyer or playing a lot of video games. Probably too many video games. Okay. Cara May, footy or soccer? Soccer. Lyle, Game of Thrones or Harry Potter? I'm actually a J.R. Tolkien man, so neither. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Back to Darren. What's the most unusual job you've ever had? <laughs> oh, crikey. Crikey. Um, uh, probably, work, probably working in venues like this. Oh. Yeah. Don't look so worried, mate. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. What would your superhero name be? What? What would your superhero name be? Fish the Bay. Me? Oh, then. Can we get a bit louder audio, please, Lee? How's that? Is that better? Can you guys just sound off from the end, please? Hello? Testing, one, two. One. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to give each candidate three minutes each to step up to the mic and present their platform. And we will just start from the left and work our way to the right. Gabe, please step up to the mic in three minutes. Well, I don't know about the left. You hear a lot about left and right, and the Liberal Democrats straddle probably both. Left and right are very archaic, meaningless terms. They're just used to insult one another, depending on which side of the fence we feel we sit on. The Liberal Democrats are about freedom. We are about you living your lives the way you want to live them. As long as you're not hurting anybody else, we don't believe that anybody else has the right to come in and say, no, you can't do that. We don't approve. Disapproval is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. You can disapprove of me all you like. You have no right to come in and stop me from doing what I want to do. And that's the same with you. And the Liberal Democrats are a party that aims to improve human flourishing. We're not beholden to any particular interests. We have, at our core, a sense that human flourishing is what we need to promote. And the way that we promote human flourishing is through that fundamental component of human dignity, which is agency, which is the ability to manage your own affairs, the ability to choose what you want to do, and to make your own decisions and accept the fallout from those decisions, whether you get rich or whether you end up on skid row or in prison. You cop the fallout from your decisions. You cop the riches from your decisions. You live your life the way you want to live it, and don't let anybody else tell you what to do. And Liberal Democrats will protect your rights, we'll stand up for ourselves, we'll stand up for you. And that's, that's us. Thank you, Deb. Good to take your seat. Andrew, you're up next. Thanks, Damien. And can I just... Thank you, mate, for pulling this together. It's a rare thing in these days to get the old group of people together to listen to candidates. It happens very rarely, and I hope this is the first of many to come. Thank you to all of the candidates that are here today expressing the full range of political views in what I still think is probably one of the most vibrant, thriving democracies on the planet. Australia does it uniquely. Compulsory voting, preferential voting, we talk about that. But this is genuinely still an incredibly peaceful nation that has thrived, I think, with good government through most of its years. My name is Andrew, 52 years of age. Two girls, Sophie and Isabel. Little Sophie is a mean, she plays netball and Isabel plays Sophie. Um, I've got my lovely wife at home tonight who's sick. She'd otherwise be here tonight, had a really bad migraine, so I love Alessia very much and wish she could be here to enjoy the frivolity. Um, look, I went into politics as a medical specialist who was increasingly frustrated in hospitals that were wasting money. And I, my dad and my granddad were all Liberals, and I could see that the general consensus was that the Libs ran the economy well and Labor ran social policy. And, but I didn't like the way Labor did social policy. I saw it as eminently wasteful. I didn't see them as t 
terribly reformist in social policy. They just seemed to shovel more money at it. And they got the votes for doing it. So I've increasingly in my parliament that I've served in worked as the social policy reformer on the right side of politics for my government. That's the, that's the job that I do. And uh, reforms in drug price referencing policy in 2006 was the biggest saving by any MP since Federation, saving around $12 billion of taxpayers' money, making drugs cheaper, was my reform in 2006. Uh, industry, if you ask them, will tell you that it cost them about $20 billion. So you can pick either number. But whether it's initiating the chaplaincy policy for the nation or thinking up uh, drug testing of welfare recipients as a way of identifying people that are on ice, because there's no other way of finding people on ice, protecting children that live in these ice-addicted households, uh, they're the policies that I've driven in my party. T 20 years ago, work for the doll was anathema. Now it is commonplace. I've worked really hard in that area. I'll not talk too long tonight. I'll wait for questions. You should know what I stand for. But tonight I can happily answer questions both on the local and the federal scene. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> Darren, would you like to step up, please? Can I get a round of applause for these guys, please? There we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> G'day, Darren Caulfield, 48, so I'm uh, the Senate candidate for Australian Better Families. Thank you very much to everyone for attending today and thank you, thank you to you especially for coming. It wouldn't, wouldn't be a forum without you guys. Australian Better Families, um, for exactly that, Australian families to benefit before all others when it comes to government policy decisions. We believe that when, for, for policy decisions and support, support needs to be there for victims of all age, gender and sexuality. So we firmly believe and support that uh, the domestic violence awareness campaigns out there, domestic violence is an absolute scourge on our society presently. Um, but things need to be improved. Services need to be there for all, all people of age, gender and sexuality. The problem with, we have, to come back to our policies, we have 21 key policies for our, our, our campaign, we have five key policies for those, they're better family law reform, sh um, child support reform, domestic violence reform, uh, we also have mental health reform and we have homelessness. Um, for our domestic violence reform is exactly that, support for all, for all people who are all victims um, of domestic violence. That's what needs to happen. Um, the problem is it's not happening these days. The problem is it's getting abused. And it's getting abused by not only men, uh, but not only women, men, men are abusing the system as well. This needs to, be, needs to be improved. Family law, we come back to family law. The problem is our communities are being destroyed. Current policies by all of our parliaments here are the destruction of families. We need to bring our community back. We need to get the village back together. Our children need to be, be brought back into our families. And that's what our policies are gonna be all about, is getting our families back together. Um, child support reform. Child support is the bane of separated parents, be it mothers or fathers. Mothers generally receiving, fathers paying. Mothers don't get paid, fathers paying too much. You know, we have a capacity to earn calculation, which basically the CSA can make up whatever they like for a calculation.